All right, greetings and peace, everyone. Welcome to the Committed Relationships and Spiritual Activity Show. I am your host, Neil Askuwetu, and we're back with another show with more information about single mothers. However, this one is about This is more towards, well, this is for both men and women, men and women, but getting men to do more contemplation about dating single mothers so that they can think wisely before dating single mothers. And I want to put a disclaimer out. This is not to bash single mothers at all. This is to provide information that I have have learned from my years of studying and analyzing relationships in general and especially single mothers and also from analyzing my own mother because I was raised in a single mother environment. So I know how it goes and also a ton of my relatives are single mothers. So I have seen it up close and personal, and I have also dated single mothers before, starting at the age of 21. Yeah, yeah, I started at 21 (laughs) dating my first. (laughs) Yo, and I just realized, hold on. I just realized my first real experience, that was, I'm talking about beyond the, the, the neighborhood you know the little neighborhood flings that you have when you're a child when you're young in your childish stage you know your neighborhood girlfriend or neighborhood boyfriend for some people but beside besides that beyond that 21 that was my first experience and my very first experience was with a single mother damn and i just realized I was like, oh shit and then after that it's been maybe three or four single mothers that I dated. I'm like, God damn. It's, it's like I attract them. And then I I realized, and what made me do this video too, is I'm real, I realized that there's so many single mothers nowadays. And, I'm, and not all of them are, are wild and crazy as far as psychologically unstable. There still are some very, very mature single mothers. And for them, I appreciate you all, you all who have your life together, you have your mind right, you're balanced, and you're ready for a man in your life. Congratulations. This is not to bash you. This is to get people to uh, realize like what's been going on and also to get men to really think. All right, so fellas, now for you who have not done this analyzing, this analysis, for yourself, I'm going to do a quick rundown of what you need to consider. All right. First, you got to consider if it's necessary for you to be in a committed relationship right now in your life. Just stop and think about it. Put the bullshit to the side. Yes, we know that it's in our nature to love pussy and we know that that's something that we want often. All right, we got that, right? So, you don't need to be in a relationship to get the pussy. And we all, a lot of us know that. And a lot of us still get the pussy whenever we're single. So, you still have that option. You gotta think about that first. And then the other thing is, first you gotta think about, um, what's the next thing I wanna mention? You got to start thinking about what type of woman you want. But that's after you do your own self-reflection and self-analysis, which is your overall, your personal development process to realize where you are in your life, where you want to be and where you need to be. And then what type of woman you need within your life, if you want to bring a woman in your life to help you get to that that point because you can utilize that's what it is we can utilize this feminine energy that's why it it is important to have a woman in your life even if you have a, a close friend that's that's cheering you on who's a female 
having a female by your side is very, very important. And that's why I love being surrounded by women, especially beautiful women. I love that. That that motivates me in so many ways. I love being around, surrounded by beautiful <laughs> women, especially beautiful women who are highly interested in me in one way or another. That I love that shit for real. But anyways, so you got to go through your personal development process first to really clear your mind from all of that negative status, stat, static that's been in your mind, that's clouding your mind from your higher judgment and your higher perceptions of life. Once you do that, then you start realizing what type of women are right for you that you need in your life. Now, if it's a single mother, I'm telling you, there's a lot more that you have to consider than being with a, sing a single female who doesn't have children. And there's a lot more variables th um, with single mothers. And sometimes there's not. Yep, there's sometimes it's not, but it's not all, all the time. But in particular, when, when they have more than one child, espe especially... Because the more children a female has, the more stress that a, f a female has on average, especially if she has not increased her psychological strength and focus to be able to get keep her life in order along with her life as a family in order. Because like I said in one of my previous videos about single mothers and the one before that, that it's not in a woman's nature to be a leader. So when a woman jumps into single motherhood, she gets further and further away from her true nature and that puts strain on herself. And that's why there's a lot of women who start to look more masculine than feminine the moment they become single mothers because they're further away from their nature and then they start having masculine thoughts and they start doing ma having masculine, portraying masculine uh, characteristics because they're outside of their nature and they have a lot more stress on them. And it does help having a male figure who is mature and strong in their life to help balance the, them out and help with the, the family. So for me, now that I raise myself up, I no longer look at single mothers as a bad thing because I know that I know my role as a man and I know that I can actually help out single mothers so for the single male who has not done his who has not completed a large portion of his personal development work and who's still immature is better for you to either stay single or get with a single woman who doesn't have any children that you can build with from scratch now i can see the other side for men who who avoid single mothers because they want a woman that they can build with from scratch rather than having to build with a woman who already has started her building which you can still build with a woman from there it, it, it depends on how you view it it, de it definitely depends on how you view it it's really all all up to you regarding that that aspect now you got to keep in mind when you have when you when you before you get involved with a single mother you have to consider that that child or children is highly important to them on average but however you do have some who consider the male once they get that male attention due to them having that fatherly figure missing missing in their life which is a parental deficiency and i go into that de de definition in one of my other videos um the single mother video prior to this so go check that out when they have that uh, parental deficiency that involves their father they put an emphasis on obtaining a man in their life to be in a relationship with in one way or another and a lot of them that are like that they are more open to just accept a man in their life that gives them any kind of attention so there's a lot of women that
place an emphasis more on the man than their children. So the children suffer from neglect due to their mother being obsessed with this man that comes into that came into her life. And there are times where the children uh, despise the man because he took their attention. He took the mother's attention away from them. And that part sucks, too. So you got to consider that. You got to definitely, definitely consider that and pay attention to that whole aspect of the situation. So you got to number one, see where's her attention as far as her children, if she's neglecting them in general or in all, you got to consider that some of them are, they put the children first. So if you are looking for attention from a woman and you want that love and affection, then you might want to consider going with a woman that is single without children because there are going to be times where the mother has to take care of her motherly duties versus spending time with you. And I've been in that situation at 21 where I was I was in the bed with with uh, the one that I was with, the woman that I was with. And I was ready to get down and do my thing with her in the bed. And then that baby cried. And, oh, man, that messed up everything, <laughs> everything. And that was one of the my moments where I realized, like, wait a minute, do I even want to do this again? Be with a woman who who has a child. But then I ended up doing it again and doing it again. But then as I raised myself up like years and years later and understood what the responsibility of a man is, then I started to realize like, yeah, I could do it. I could date a woman who has who has children. I'm like, yeah, it's not bad, but it all depends on her psychological mindset that the, the, the refinement level. So that's why you got to spend time speaking with the individual to see where she's at psychologically because that psychological health is way more important than how the woman looks physically and how she got her life how her life is because it's the mindset of an individual of individuals that maintains helps maintain a successful and meaningful relationship more than any other material possession People have to keep that in mind. It doesn't matter if a person has a car, has a house, has money. I mean, those things help definitely, but however, they're not the end all be all and they're not the primary basis of having a successful, meaningful relationship. It is the person's uh, psychological refinement level that matters first and foremost amongst everything that's going to help assist with the mature, well, I mean, with the successful and meaningful relationship so you got to sit sit there and really contemplate that so you got that aspect that you have to worry about um then you have to consider that um uh shoot what, what else is there to consider that when you there are going to be times where it's best to bring the child or children along during your dates or, or whatever and when you get in that situation if you as a single male has not have not developed yourself to be able to be cordial with children and be be able to be just handle children well then you should just avoid dating single mothers yeah, just, just in general if, if you're not good with children and you don't like children as a man then you should you need you really need to avoid dating single mothers in general i don't care how beautiful she is because i know that, that there are some very very beautiful single mothers and it's hard to resist being attracted to, to, to them but you got to really realize like if you're not if you're not good with with children then leave them alone <laughs> don't even don't even try to pursue them and try to show interest in them because it's not a good thing but now, if you are very good with, with children, then you can go ahead and do your thing. And you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of variables when you're dealing with single, with children, with children. 
there's there's variables when you're dealing with single women in general but when they have children there's an added variables including you have to deal with the ch more egos you already have the ego of yourself of the woman and you got to got to then deal with the ego of the child the child the one or more children and that's why the more children that a woman has the more you have to really stop and think about if you really want to move forward if it's worth it for you because these sing these mothers nowadays these women nowadays are having franchises <laughs> that's what they are they're not having families they're having franchises and then when they're on by themselves and they become single mothers they have more restraint because they got to take care of the children by themselves and then a lot of single mothers when they they do become single and they're taking care of the children on them by themselves they put in so much time and energy and effort into the children that they lack personal development of their own selves so it's like they're not as beautiful as as they used to be and they're not as um psychologically stable and then there's some of them that still are beautiful if not more beautiful after they became single and they have the children but the psychological aspect they they lack that aspect they don't they fail to develop themselves evolve themselves psychologically so there's still there's there's a lot to going into children and and um people really have to analyze like if it's necessary for them to have children themselves and they have to realize all of the work that goes into having children so that's why if you as a man if a man has not really analyzed what it means to have children and seen the responsibility of it he has to do that first before he decides to have children and to date a woman who has one or more children that's another thing you you have to do you have to learn what it means to have children definitely and me going through my own experience with my nieces and nephews and dating single mothers myself i know what's going on and there's still more stuff that i'm learning about dating single single mothers um and yes yeah, it's, it's a lot of variables and then another other video variable that you have to consider is how um strong is her connection with her family because even when you date a single a single female in general you still have the variable that you have to consider is her family but now when she has children that's the third aspect that you have to consider besides considering her you gotta you gotta observe and analyze her examine her then you gotta examine the children you gotta see you gotta examine their mental strength and mental health see how healthy they are and also healthy physically because there are some children who have physical ailments that you would have to deal with if you as a man get involved with the mother in one way or another you're gonna eventually have to deal with her and the children so there's no running around from it and then there's some women that sit there and talk about oh I'm not looking for a father figure for my my uh, children but in actuality if a man is going to give with a woman he eventually is going to take on that role he has to take on that role in one way or another there's no way around it unless he's gonna just stay as a fuck buddy <laughs> for for many years or something like that or just stay somehow separated without being too attached but other than that he's gonna have to take on the fatherly role of those children in one way or another so that's something you have to consider so then you got the children and then you have to you have to examine the psychological health health of the family that she's attached to because there's some women that are attached to their mother their father or both both of them and then you got to deal with the parents too and that's also with with single females in general but I mean, that's just an added uh, consideration that you need on top of the children. And um, let me see, what else, what else is there? 
but the psychological strength um the mental health health of the children you have to definitely make sure that you focus on that too after you analyzed the mother the mother you gotta and you gotta spend time with her see where she's at and then listen in the meantime when she speaks about her children as if she decides to speak about her children because some women they like to keep that conversation away until they really get comfortable with with the man i've been in that situation before and which it makes sense there's nothing wrong with that at all but then you got some of them that really love their children and they just love talking about them and then they'll just come out and just start talking about them with, with the man that they just met. But regardless, whenever she does speak about her children, always pay attention. That way that gives, gives you information about the children. And anything that she says about the children and about herself, when you get done speaking with her, you have to make time to sit down and analyze what you just heard and get out of your emotions, get out of your ego and really reflect on what was heard. That's what what was told to you. That's what I do all the time when I when I speak with women, in particular women that I, I like and I'm considering going further with relationship wise. I always analyze the conversation so that I can see what information can help me with deciding on if this is the right woman for me and if she's worth my time and effort. And me doing that, doing that analysis moment, analysis, making time for analysis, that helped me out a lot. It helped me avoid a lot of unnecessary stress dealing with women. So that helps out a lot. So men, you have to learn how to do that more often. Definitely. So overall, I think... I did exactly what I said I wanted to do. I wanted to avoid speaking negative about single mothers. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that right there. If you guys have any questions and comments, then go ahead, put them in the comment section. If not there, then email me at committedrelationships at gmail.com. And if it's a good idea for me to do another video based on your question, I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll even read your question um, with your approval, well, man, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how that how how that goes. Okay, and you can check out my website, of course. That'll be in the description. Uh, if if you guys have benefited in any way or another from this video and any other videos of mine, and you would like to provide any amount of donations you can go ahead and do that that is in my description the link is in my description there and there's much more information in the description so always check that out in all of my videos just to see if there's anything different that you need to uh to know all right thank you very much and until next time for many people Designing websites is a very tedious process. Well, there is great news. Neo Oneness Web Designs provides high quality web design for affordable prices starting at only $200. Check the link in the description and check the website out.